Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of BISAL 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the Backup and Disaster Recovery Visualizer. The Backup and Disaster Recovery Visualizer has been built so that you can, in one screen, verify if your Backup and Disaster Recovery solution is working. We will connect to the live environment and extract information relevant to your analysis. You can see if your SQL agent is running, you can verify if your backup job is correctly enabled, and you can verify if your backup job is generating healthy history. Another possibility is that you can also see the configuration of the backup job so that you understand how it is expected to run. With the Backup and Disaster Recovery Visualizer, you can also connect to a standby environment or disaster recovery environment to validate if the SQL agent is running, if the restoration jobs are correctly set up, and if the job of the restorations is happening in a healthy way. So first, let's see how we can configure a standby environment. When we get into the Backup and Disaster Recovery Visualizer, we can click on the top right corner in Configure Standby. Here you can define what's the name of your SQL instance where the restoration jobs are configured. After inputting the configuration, we can just hit save and the backup and disaster recovery visualizer is correctly configured now. So now we can have a view of uh, all the settings that I was talking about. So about the live environment, we can see is the SQL agent running, is the backup job enabled, and, or is the job history healthy? So all of them are healthy right now. We can see the shared UNC path that is shared across live environment and standby environment. And we can also see how is my standby environment doing by looking into if my SQL agent is running, if my restoration jobs are correctly enabled, and if my job history on the standby environment is also healthy. Below, we can also see additional information about our live and standby environments. Selected by default is the backup job configuration. So down here, we can see the configuration of each of the steps in the backup job. So the basic configuration includes if compression is enabled or not, what's the frequency of the job, and for how long do we want to keep the backup history in the BizTalk databases. Then we can see the full backup settings, and in here we can see where are the backups being generated to, what's the frequency of the backup, and a few other settings. We can also, in the last section, verify the log backup settings, like where is it located, and a few additional fields. Then we can also go and look into the backup history, which shows the backup sets that have been generated for my databases. We can see the last full backups, the last block backups, and also the last five backup job execution results. And we can see everything looks healthy. Last, we can also look at the standby restoration history. And if there is any restoration being executed, you will see the data points here telling you which backup sets have been restored in the environment. And this is all from Backup and Disaster Recovery Visualizer.